Thanks so much for joining us this evening for Way 31 News at 5. I'm Marie Waxel. And I'm Dan Schaefer. We'll begin our coverage out in the Shoals and Agriculture Center in Lauderdale County. We'll host concerts and rodeos, have lots of shopping opportunities, and even bring a workforce development center to the community. Today, Governor Kay Ivey is helping project leaders transition to the construction portion of that project. And that's where Way 31's Brecken Terry joins us live. Brecken, what's it like out there? Well, Dan, it's raining just a little bit, but that is not slowing anyone down from getting out here. The governor actually just came under this tent. She is meeting with people, shaking hands, and obviously taking a ton of photos. Now, this agricultural center is going to be about a $55 million project. It's going to take up about 170 acres here along Highway 72, also Florence Boulevard. The roads are being widened, and they've done a lot of the infrastructure work so far, but the official groundbreaking is going to be happening here in just the next few months minutes and this is going to be a huge economic boom for the area. We've got school officials here where Lauderdale County Schools are going to be having their new tech center located as well, plus the arena that's going to be able to hold concerts and rodeos. So this is a very exciting day for the entire Shoals area. We've got delegates from Lauderdale County as well as some officials from Colbert County too. So again, everyone is meeting with the governor right now. Uh, Senator Tim Melson, this has kind of been his brainchild. He is about to take the mic and speak. People are starting to uh, actually take their seats and then the governor is going to stand up. She will probably say a couple of words and then they've already got those shovels lined up ready to break ground here at the Agricultural Center. Live in Florence, Breck and Terry, Way 31 News.